In this video, I would like to demonstrate updating your Maximo database with a BERT report. Several of our clients have asked us to determine if a report had already been printed and also um, to determine the number of times a report had been printed. It's a fairly simple uh, exercise to determine that and I will walk you through th th these steps um, that I use to do it. Before we get too far, there there is some setup here. So for one, you'll need either an image or some way to determine if a report had already been printed. You could do things like change the color of a font, um, you know, show or hide a text um, element. I chose to um, show and hide a graphic element here. I created a um, image here already printed in MS Paint and I will show or unshow this determining, I mean, uh, show or unshow depending upon if it had uh, been printed or not. The second item you'll, you'll need to do is you'll need a yarn field that you are going to be capturing if your report had been printed. So for, for me, I chose to create an attribute on the worker table, in this case, called mine already printed. Not terribly complicated, simply new attribute, type yarn, supply a description and a title. Once you have that in place, You'll be ready to configure the report to um, to do your bidding. So let's walk through the elements that we will need to um, add here in the code. So the first item is you'll need to create a report variable. Uh, I called mine already printed Y or N. It's a simple report variable. Once you have that in place, then it's a matter of going to your data set, going to the um, script um, tab here. Click, let's, let's start with the, um, the open first. So here I added my um, work order dot already printed attribute in, into my select clause and that should be all we need to do here. Also before I get too far down the line it should be obvious here but to, to create this um, report all I did was I went to the work order tracking application chose create report so I opted to, um, to use the default columns and I chose to save the report. I then performed an export out of report administration and I imported that into my Eclipse environment here. Let's go back to the data set script tab. Let's look at the fetch. Uh, the parts that I added were the uh, this row here already printed, added this um, this block down here. So wonum equals dataset underscore work order the name of our dataset dot get string wonum. So create creating that variable. And I'm assigning that value of that variable to a persistent global variable called wo underscore number. Then I'm um, assigning to my um, re report variable already printed y or n the value of n. And if already printed is greater than zero, which it should be on a um, new unprinted uh, record, return true. Um, otherwise, I'm oh, sorry, if it's greater than zero, then change this already printed um, YRN variable to Y. The final script that we want to look at for the data set is after close. 
we want to use after close so that when we print the report it will be rendered and then our statement here or this code um, in, in particular will be called if we um, don't put it in after close it will, it will most likely be called before the report is rendered and you will always see the variable or the I'm sorry the um, graphic regardless if the value is Y or N in this code I am essentially grabbing the will underscore number from the previous um, um, fetch and I'm going to be using the same data source so we don't have to create another uh, connection to the database although we certainly could nothing stopping us from, from doing that but for my purpose and the purpose of the video I will be using the same data um, source I'm going to be I'm creating a statement here and the query that I will be assigning to my statement is update work order set already printed equal to one where wonum equals the value that we get from the fetch and th and then we'll save it so this here is the heart of the uh, um, report and it is what is performing the updated course before we leave the fetch I did not explicitly cover it but um, on here be sure we did add already printed as a row don't forget to add it to your output columns already printed integer and the final piece of the puzzle here go to your layout click on the um, cell or the area where you have your already printed. Click script and you'll want to put it in here. Um, if already printed, why or no equals no, then set this, um, this display style to none. Basically, um, don't show this um, cell or, or, or row if um, already printed equals Y. I'm sorry, equals N. But thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other uh, awesome videos at a3jgroup.com. Look forward to talking with you next time. Thank you.